Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Akmir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Friday, the 16th of April. Starting off with uh, Anamoy, where there's a bit of a, a sort of a re- review of uh, the initial call here. It's looking for the rising trend channel drawn from the end of October to hit for, for the shares to hit 15 pence, but. Uh, Having had another sort of uh, reflection, uh, it could be that the shares are heading up towards uh, a December resistance line, currently promising us a target as high as 21 pence as soon as the end of next month. But I suppose we've got to see how the uh, rather overbought shares at the moment uh, cool off or at least consolidate ahead of that. But at the moment, uh, up to 21 pence, uh, while we hold above, I suppose uh, one would say the, uh, the 5 pence area because that was the late... Uh, March resistance for the shares, but uh, see if we can tighten up that stop loss as well down the line. On to a stock which I've looked at a while back, but uh, it seems to be back again now. Uh, Botswana Diamonds. Uh, here it's a rather messy picture uh, in the near term, but uh, looking at the bigger picture, it seems that there has been a recovery here from uh, back uh, at the in the first quarter of last year. Uh, top of the channel there, a broadening triangle is. Uh, heading for 1.5, 1.6 pence. And uh, we're assuming now that with the near-term moving, average all, uh, moving averages all rising at the moment, that uh, there will be a breakout imminently. And if you can see a breakout through a penny over the next uh, week or so, then 1.5 pence could be seen as soon as the end of next month for Botswana Diamonds. Uh, looking on to Sharad, which I've given some um, coverage in, of late uh, here. Uh, the reason for including it today is that we're just... Uh, close to uh, the uh, resistance line there from December. That was uh, promising us a target as high as 32 pence. Above 32 pence, so if we can get that on a weekly close basis, either this week or next week, then we'd be looking for a top of um, broadening uh, or a rather wide rising trend channel from back in 2017, as high as 45 pence as soon as the end of June. But uh, decent uh, director buying there as well of late seems to be pushing the share price in the right direction. Uh, good to see a stock which is um, in the gold area, I suppose. At the moment, we've had uh, a few weeks or months, or I suppose a few weeks at least, of uh, gold being on the back foot, but it uh, looks like gold is back now. So Galant- uh, Galantis uh, in focus now, and uh, the view here is that uh, we're still building on that uh, falling wedge break from the beginning of February. And uh, while we hold above the 15 pence area, looking for a further moves to the upside at this stage probably looking for a top of um it was that top of october trend channel target as high as 25 pence over the next few weeks uh, for uh, galantis big picture target here over the maybe the next two to three months as high as uh, 35 to 37 pence which is the top of the broader uh, price channel from back in may last year but above 15 up to 35 is a best case scenario for that stock. Always good to see stocks which are being bashed or have been bashed by the bears. So here we've got Iconic Labs. A nice break through the 200 day moving average 0.01 and the view is that a weekly close above that could take the shares on to the long promised destination at 0.03 plus uh, which we were hoping might uh, turn up back in uh, August and September but that was only done briefly so hopefully on this occasion we will see a sustained move towards that area. The big plus point here, though, was the end of day close back above the uh, top of the gap at the beginning of February. Uh, that was the start of the uh, rally here, uh, or signal the start of a rally here, 0. 0.006. And uh, at least that has worked, albeit slowly, for Iconic Labs. Uh, less fraught situation coming up next. Um, one that uh, has its fans. Here we've got iNexus uh, Global and uh, here the message is that uh, above that old peak from February, around 8.5 pence on a weekly close basis, which is what it look, looks like we'll get now, uh, we're going to head up towards the top of the rising trend channel from May last year, as high as 14 pence by the end of next month. So looking quite uh, sharp uh, in terms of the uh, price action there at the moment. Quite a decent situation. Moving on to Itaconics, uh, which has been a, a favourite here for quite some time. Uh, here we've got a great breakout of the last couple of sessions, breaking that old January peak, 8.2 pence. Um, the longer we stay above 8.2 pence, the more we're looking for, the greater the chance of a move towards 15 pence by the end of next month. So hopefully the shares will copy the move that we saw from uh, December going into mid-January over the near term. So hopefully 
by the end of next month near 15 pence. A stock which is um, more of a slow burner, I suppose, than uh, Itaconics is uh, J-Wing. But uh, here we've had a breakout as well. So breaking through that old February peak at 11.5 pence. And while we're above that, looking for a best case scenario target as high as 25 pence by the end of next uh, by the end of June. Hopefully the shares will start accelerating. So the end of June may be the latest that we see 25 pence rather than um, any other particular date. On to a stock which has been requested, and um, I can understand why. I'm sure that uh, many of the Mode Global's fans were hoping that the shares would uh, rush up higher with the recent rise in Bitcoin. So far, though, it's not to be. We do have a support line here from back in December running through the through at 48. So ideally, there's no break back below that level to end the week. If we can hold above that, then uh, we could say that the shares are in a range between uh, the upper 40s and the low 60s rather than uh, a risk of breaking down. If the uh, numbers do add up for mode, which I'm sure they will, then uh, top of the channel uh, from uh, October last year is up to 90 pence. And uh, that would follow hopefully quite quickly if there was a sustained move through the 50 day moving average currently at 56 pence. But everything at the moment dependent on 48 holding over the near term. Onto a stock which I hadn't really looked at before, but uh, it was brought to my attention by one of my favorite Twitterati who normally gets it right. Uh, here we've got um, Quicksent, great uh, great uh, candle today, uh, opening at the low and so far at the high of the day, which is uh, always nice to see. Uh, the view is that while there's no end of day close back below today's £1.30 low, uh, we could see Quicksent up as high as £1.80 by the end of next month. So looking very chirpy indeed at the moment for the shares. At this stage, only well below the 50-day line and the floor of the channel at £1.25, really delaying the upside scenario. Now a stock which uh, I covered before and uh, obviously it's a great private investor favourite, Supply Me Capital. I'm just including it today, not particularly for the reason that uh, there's any great technicals going on, although it's not too bad. It's just because uh, it was commented that last time I covered the stock it sounded like I was crying, uh, which uh, I didn't actually notice that uh, that was the case, but uh, there you go. Current situation, uh, two plus points uh, for fans of Supply Me. One is that uh, it looks like we bounced off that support line there from August, which looks like the floor of a rising trend channel from the summer. Top of the channel up to 0.8 while we hold above 0.3. So that's relatively simple. And it's very good today to see the shares of the price action uh, wholly above the 200-day moving average at 0.385. We're almost all above the, that level. If we get a decent uh, weekly close above the 200-day line, I think that would be a plus for Supply Me Capital and uh, maybe uh, hasten the time at which it will head back up to the top of the range. Just a couple of stocks to go now. One is uh, a well-followed stock, as we, uh, as you'll probably gather when uh, you see it, United Oil and Gas. Uh, here we've got a situation where we had the spike and uh, came back to, uh, so far, retest former resistance, that old resistance in November around... Uh, 0.23, the low today 0.22, so there's been a slight uh, support resistance, resistance support overlap. Uh, overlap. But uh, while we remain about 0.23, uh, looking for a partial or even full retest of the uh, spike highs of uh, last week at 0.45 pence plus. If you're a fan of the stock and looking for uh, greater highs, then the um, possibility of 0.65 or 0.7 at a November resistance line projection while we hold above 0.23. And uh, final stock of the day is one which uh, started moving yesterday and uh, looked encouraging, Wishbone Gold. Uh, here you can see that, uh, or you will be able to see that the shares have uh, managed to uh, rebound off the floor of a rising trend channel from August. They've also today broken that resistance line from February, which is why I've included the shares, uh, the stock in the Bulletin Board Heroes for a second day running, uh, a weekly close above the 50-day line at 13 and a half pence should finally give us our 20, 20 plus uh, pence plus target as high as 22 or even 23 pence by the end of next month. Upside valid while we hold above 10 pence. So above 10 looking for 22, 23 on Wishbone Gold. That's it for me today. More updates over the weekend. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.